What the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Wes, human crack in the flesh, and this is Kicks from Wes. And welcome back to another of my top seven sneakers of the week. If this is your first time watching my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come join the community, be part of the fam. We're welcome to have you. So, this is another episode of my top seven sneakers of the week, where I go over shoes that I wore throughout the week from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, without further ado, Let's get into my top seven sneakers of the week. And for Monday, we're going to have OG, Flu Games. The OGs right here, baby. Flu Games. Good leather on this shoe right here. Good quality shoe. The shoe sold out when it released. Very comfortable shoe. I like this shoe a lot. You know what I mean? I wear it from time to time. Get some wears out of it. And this is going to be Monday's shoe. So for Tuesday, I went ahead and grabbed another classic, another OG. Had to, had to pull these bad boys out once again, because when I wore them the first time, it was only for a couple of hours. Then I threw them back in the box, because I wasn't really doing nothing that day. And that shoe was going to be the OG Brad 13s, baby. I was just in my OG feel for Monday and for Tuesday. And so we got these Brad 13s right here. Great uh, quality materials on here. The suede is on point. You know what I mean? Got, got some soft leather as well. They did not change anything. This is the 2017 um, retro here that released a month ago, two months ago, should I say. So they didn't change anything on this shoe. They kept it OG. Thank you, Joy Brand. Thank you, Nike, for that. I do appreciate it. You guys um, just kept it original. Tuesday shoe, man. So for Wednesday, I wanted to switch it up. Now what I mean? I was feeling an alternate feel, and that's going to be alternate fours. And I remember when I got this shoe, well, when I was shopping and I seen this shoe in Shoe Palace when I was out and about, um, I wasn't going to buy it at first, and then I tried it on my feet. And so when I tried it on, that's what made me buy the shoe. I was like, oh, these actually look dope on foot, you know, and, and I liked them, so I bought them. And if you haven't seen the video of this uh, unboxing here, of this shoe here, then go ahead and look in the playlist and ch ch check that video out. And it's going to be Wednesday's shoe. So for Thursday, was another OG day. Another OG day, man. Thursday's shoe is going to be Bread 11s, baby, them Bread 11s. This is the 2012 pair that released. Um... Yeah, man, I got these off a private seller on eBay, you know. Price wasn't bad at all, either. I missed out on the release when they released and got them off eBay. That's why I say, do your research. It don't hurt. You know, you can find some steals, some deals on eBay. Just be cautious and know what you're looking for. And when you see red flags, then don't do business with them. If it's too good to be true, don't be bothered with it. That's all, man. Something too good to be true, you know, leave that alone. That's a red flag right there. But these is in still great condition. I wear these from time to time. And this is Red 11s, man. If you don't have this in your collection, just don't got it in your collection, man. This is a must-have shoe in your collection. You must have a Bread 11. So, Thursday's shoe. For Friday... I went back to the to the OG again, you know what I mean? And now I, now I have fun rocking my OGs, talking to the, talking to the OGs. <laughs> you did, and that's gonna be Cherry Thirteens, baby. Cherry Thirteens. Good tumble lever. Got that nice suede on here as well. I love this shoe, man. I love it a lot. Red and white and black, you just can't go wrong with these colors right here. It's simple, easy to match, you know. Doesn't take you for hours to get dressed. I mean, unless you're just a person that takes hours to get dressed. You got some people out there, male and female, so don't trip, you know. This was Friday's shoe. Saturday. I went back 
to the alternate side. You know what I mean? Went back to the alternate side. And Saturday's shoe is going to be my alternate eights. These 1993 jump offs right here. And this is the alternate Bugs Bunny version, for those who don't know. The, the, the original retro is all black, and so they made the alternate version, and these are them. Check out the little sparkle. You see, you can't pick that up. See the sparkle? The light just hit it. Sparkle. Saturday shoe, man. Let me know how the lighting is in here. Uh, I changed some light bulbs around, you know, and it, it looks a little bit bright to me. But you guys down in the comment section, let me know how, how, how the lighting looks on camera, you know. Sunday. It's going to be another classic, another OG. And I'm, I'm on my, my OG thing. I'm going to be hunting for more OG shoes. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I can catch some at good price points. Um, looking for the Concorde 11s, you know, but with those there, anybody trying to come off those, oh no, oh no, 300, no <laughs> 300. But anyway, man, Sunday shoe is going to be Carmine 6s. Little backstory on this shoe here. I got up on release day extra early, went, stood online. Was unable to get up here. The store that I was that, that I was waiting at, um, it's called Noble. Uh, if, if I don't know if you guys ever heard of Noble, but if you did, then for those that do know what Noble is, you know what I'm talking about. It's a shoe store on the East Coast. You know what I mean, up and coming or whatever. And I stood online for these here. Wasn't able to get my pair, but you know, like I said, research, research, baby. Found them. Went to another place that had them. Told me to come back at a certain time. Shout out to CMB Kicks. Now I mean up there in South Orange. Over there on South Orange Jab. So I picked these up from. So, you know what I mean? If you ever in South Orange and you on South Orange Jab, check out CMB Kicks, man. They be having some deals, some steals in there as well. Check them out on Instagram. I put their handle down below in the description. Give them a check out. And this was around my birthday time, and I wanted to shoot bad, so I was like driving around everywhere, you know what I mean, looking for the shoe, and they like, it's sold out, it's sold out, and I was mad as hell, I was mad, <laughs> I was like, damn, I wanted this shoe back, and just so, as I kept going and, and never gave up, I eventually found them, and it gave me a good price for them, so that was Sunday's shoe, man, I hope you guys enjoyed, this is my top seven sneakers of the week, come back next week, check me out again for another my top seven sneakers of the week, and if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, come join the community, be part of the fam. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. It do help, and I do appreciate it. So that's going to be it for this one here. It's your boy Wes, human crack in the flesh, and this is Kicks from Wes. Everybody have a nice day. I'm out, man. Peace. I got pressure on me. Pressure on me. Told my bitch I'm done with her cause I found a new boost Found a plug, told my old one I'm done fucking with him too Found them bands, told my mama I ain't going back to school If I pass up all this opportunity I'd be a fool I got pressure on me, pressure in my lungs, you can smell it on me I got pressure on me, and be an icon, fans yelling for me Ayy, woke up, roll up, thought about the day How I'ma get richer, pockets rolled up, I can't skip a day Four figure flip a cop a four and I'm back in the lane No tenant windows just to let you know who winning